everybody, Chloe Sa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Today, uh, I thought <laughs> I thought I would gather the pups and talk about best in show. Um, I'll probably have a couple of videos on this eventually because the haul is there were multiple hauls. <laughs> so I'll start off with the, the haul I, I have. The, the first haul, the haul that's already come in, because um, I thought people are maybe still ordering it, might want to try to get a, a look at it. The people have been anticipating this pattern for a long time. They did show us this pattern a long time ago in the focus group that um, I'm in. Oh, don't fall, puppy. So uh, I was aware of this pattern for a long time, and everyone had always been waiting and waiting for it. So there's like this real frenzy now that it's finally come out. And, um, you know, I, well, I'm a dog person and people, if they watch my videos really know I lost my dog Duke and I'm still kind of devastated about that. So there was no way I wasn't sort of going to go hog wild with this pattern. Um, but in, on top of that, I feel like with, I was so traumatized by Cat's Meow and the whole limited edition kind of nonsense that Vera Bradley did with that, where people were missing out because stuff was selling out, and people were missing out on items that they wanted to get, and then they have to, if they really want it, they have to go on eBay and pay jacked up prices. Uh, I mean, I just, just the other day, there was a newly listed Cat's Meow, new with tags, Vera Tote, the larger size, listed on, I don't know, this Poshmark or Macari, $400. I mean, are you kidding me? And then, very soon after that, I noticed she knocked the price down to three ninety. So it's like, oh yeah, that those last ten dollars, that that was the deal breaker. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's sort of people get sort of obnoxious with the um, price gouging with patterns like that, and Vera knows about it, and they're sort of setting setting it up to happen, and it's frustrating. Also, you know, not everybody can buy a pattern immediately when it comes out, and if it's a limited edition and people are buying it and it sells out, and they're not producing more and people miss out and they feel bad. I mean, I don't know why Vera does that too. It's like, you know, loyal customers make them feel bad. <laughs> so that's my complaint. Get that off my chest. Um, but it, it, it has come in and it, it's so cute. Uh, I will show it in relation to uh, hold up a little bit of Cat's Meow because I do think Cat's Meow is just slightly better done only because this pattern has a couple of big distracting elements. This, the chair, the dog on the chair, and the dog on the yoga mat. Looks like it's on a yoga mat in like downward dog position. Um, and I think that those big blocky elements are kind of distracting and clunky looking. And they pull the eye away from the dogs a little bit. They, they kind of make everything look very crowded. Um, and whereas the cat's meow, um, the whatever little elements were in there that weren't cats, you know, the the ball of yarn, the cucumber, uh, whatever, they were smaller, and so the cats really pop here. The cats really shine here. So that that's my my one thing, and I thought that immediately when they showed us these patterns in in the focus group, and they were asking for feedback. But um, I think you know when they. I think a lot of the times when those, they show us those patterns, they're already a done deal. Um, so they're, they're not going to go back and adjust stuff. So, you know, I, I, I have another one of these on order. I wanted to try to maximize my chances for pattern placement that I like. So I'm not taking tags off or using any of this stuff that I'm, you know, waiting to compare with other things. Um, so that's why everything still has a tag on it. I hope, you know, I'll pick pattern placement and then return stuff. Um, but I just felt like so traumatized that I missed out on some of the stuff from Cat's Meow that I felt like I was going to order stuff and then, you know, return what I don't want. Better to order it, have it, and decide, okay, I don't need this, um, you know, than to miss out completely. It was really, like I said, really traumatized by the whole Cat's Meow experience. <laughs> Uh, sorry for the chewing, licking noises. It keeps them from killing each other on camera. How about you don't lick on my bed, though? That would be super good, okay? Because you're just making big wet spots and it's icky. This is a very real dog video. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Vera Tote 
Oh, stop yammering now. And really just great, you know, great mix of breeds. And um, initially I felt like I, I wasn't concerned with what dogs I got where. But when I realized there was a cattle dog and a beagle howling, then I sort of started to pay more attention because my first dog, well, uh, Peaches here is a blue healer uh, cross mix, Australian cattle dog, but blue healer. And Lucy, my first dog, was a blue healer and Dalmatian cross. And the, the way that the cattle dog here is rendered looks a lot in the, less so in the photo that this comes from. If people go to my Instagram, they see I, I posted the photo that this dog was derived from. Uh, but in the illustration of it, it really does look a lot like my first dog. So I felt like, okay, I want that. And it's close to the beagle who's howling. And Rosie's part beagle and she howls. And she and my husband have this really cute routine where they howl together every day. <laughs> um, and so, you know, they were close together, you know. And so that became sort of key for me. And there's a little Shih Tzu there. And my, my godmother had Shih Tzu, so... But there's also this dog that I, uh, I didn't get in a great position here, but it's, he's on it, the other thing that I can show. And this dog, the coloring obviously doesn't look like Duke at all. It almost looks like it might be a Doberman. Uh, and there's another beautiful dog. Um, but Duke would lie like this on his back with his leg up in the air every day. Literally every day Duke would lie like that. So it became important to get that somewhere in a good spot. And I did on the other, on the other things. So, um, you know, it's just, it's so nice. It's nice. To, it's fun to pick out the breeds if people, you know, have certain breeds. I, I always get my dogs from shelters, so I have less control over that a lot of the time. And most of the dogs are mixed breeds that I end up with. All of them have been mixed breeds. I mean, I know you can get purebred from the shelter too, but um, I just haven't. So, but it's fun for people, I think, to pick out their, see their breed. But if you're a dog lover, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure there are some mutts on here, too. They just look like generic dogs. And so this is a lighter background color than Cat's Meow, and I was a little concerned about that. Uh, how would that look? You know, but I, I think it's all right. I think the dogs pop nice on it. I love that Great Dane with a little Chihuahua. That reminds me, I mean, it's years ago, and I, for the life of me, I can't remember the ad campaign, but there was a print ad campaign, and it might have even been a commercial, that had a Great Dane, it might have even been sitting down, I'm not sure if it was standing or sitting down, with a Chihuahua. I can't remember what company that was for. So I thought of that immediately when I saw that combo of the, the Great Dane and the Chihuahua there. It was a little corgi. <laughs> that corgi butt next to the Dalmatian. So I've been, you know, picking out lots of breeds. Here we have, of course, the standard poodle, the basset hound, and the dachshund there. With its nose, looks like it's in a pup cup. <laughs> and the bulldog. the standard poodle and above right above that the uh, small dog in the teacup with the Bernese mountain dog puppy that looks like this is a dog with a biscuit on its nose <laughs> um, not a huge fan of the dog shaming stuff that you see online with the signs and there is that on here and I did mention that in the pattern survey when they were asking our opinion I've not I've never been a big fan of this I don't think it's all that funny but they did include that I ate mom's socks again it's all right in the overall scheme of things you know it doesn't jump out too much I do like this setter I think this is some kind of setter here I can't remember the breed uh, God, it's gonna bug me. I can't remember the name of this breed, um, but it's it's got a tennis ball in its mouth. And what I like so much about that one is the attention to detail. Just like how I felt about cats. If you pay attention, you know you can see the way the flues were drawn there over the tennis ball. I mean, it's just so spot on for anyone who has a dog. You know, when they chew a ball, they have a ball in its mouth. That's how the the flues go over that ball like that. So I, I just I thought that was neat when I saw that. This is Scotty with a bow tie and a German Shepherd dog there. 
My husband loves German Shepherds. A corgi butt. So anyway, just, you know, uh, so, so pleased with it, really. Just so pleased with it. And the lining on this is very nice. Oh, but let me hold up with Cat's Meow so you can compare the background colors. So, you know, very different. This is obviously much darker. Hides dirt better. But I wouldn't hesitate. You know, I've, I've said in numerous videos now, I wash the Vera totes, no problem. I do think it works. I do think that it works well, the lighter background color. I will say, people should uh, just give people a little tip. Um, well, I'll talk about it more when I show another item, but people should be careful. Make sure that the fabric is, is oriented right when they're buying stuff. I would look closely. Um, and I'll talk more about that, but let me just turn this inside out real quick to um, show the lining. Lining is cute as tennis balls uh, and squirrels. And uh, some of the squirrels are holding tennis balls. <laughs> and I don't think it's all the same squirrel. It looks like it might just be a flopped. It might just be flopped. Yeah, here are both of them. Yeah, just different directions, but they look like the same figure with the tent uh, of the squirrel. The body of the squirrel is the same. And then there's the other squirrel without the tennis ball. That's oh, a little lumpy. <laughs> the other side's less lumpy. Very cute. You see that very light kind of lime tennis ball color, very pale. Very cute. And this is a nicer, you know, that more cotton, so that more cotton-like fabric, which I'm sure is a blend. So that's that. I'm so itching to use this, but, you know, I want to wait. I don't want to use it if I'm going to return it. I'll see which one I get the one that I ordered. We'll see which one I like better. So um, that's that. And then, again, stemming from my cat's meow trauma where I felt so sad that I hadn't gotten the Galena because in Cat's Meow because I do think this is a more feminine pattern. The cats are more feminine and the Glenna is a feminine style and so I was really kind of bummed I didn't react. I didn't think about that at the time because I think it looks great in the Glenna. And now if you want to get a Glenna and you try to get it on eBay you're going to have to pay $250. I mean I there's one listed I was just looking at recently. $249. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So, you know, people are really, really jacking up the prices. So anyway, so I did get the Glenna in this thinking, I'm not sure I want dogs on a Glenna. I'm not sure I'm going to like it, but I'm going to get it and see how I feel about it. And I can always return it. And I, um, I do have one on order, so I'm going to pick pattern placement. But I think this is the one I'm probably going to go with um, <clears throat> because it has those three dogs that I was talking about all together in a relatively good spot on the front. So you get the cattle dog, the beagle right below it, and then the dog on its back with its leg up right below that. And that grouping right there. And that's what I wanted. And I tend to carry bags on my left shoulder. And when I do that, it's nice because my arm doesn't block that grouping. So, you know, I... I was worried because I feel like I said that the dogs are a little less feminine than the cats and the Glen is very feminine style, but I think it looks good. I like it. I'm pleased with it. Um, it looks a little bit better when there's sort of stuff in there giving it a little body. Just in case people might have been wondering how, how it might look. I think it looks pretty good. Very pleased with this. Oh, the cattle dog on the side there too. Uh, didn't get um, didn't get the Great Dane. So in such a great spot, but he's on this side. So I'm down there. But it is kind of hard to go wrong, right? Uh, <laughs> if you like dogs, it's hard to go wrong with this. And uh, I love dogs. Look at the dog in the cone. Got to have the cone. A cone has to make an appearance, right? 
Let's see if I can find the dog with the hair dryer. Yeah, this kind of almost looks like a setter, but it's not the right color. Like I, I want to say, uh, it's not the color of an Irish setter, but something about it, the body shape kind of looks like a setter. Yeah, so you can see the pink hair dryer and the sort of wispy lines for the air coming out of the air, the hair dryer, and the plug it plugged into the wall. I can't remember the last time I used a hair dryer, as you can probably tell. <laughs> uh, I'm not high maintenance. If I have to spend more than five minutes on my hair, I start to get pissed off. So anyway, very very pleased with this, and I will keep it. Um, I'm just waiting to see about pattern placement on it. You know, maybe if I got this a little bit, I don't know, more centered or something, I might. But I, I you know, I'm very happy with this one. And uh, the woman at the store, who's this great sales associate, I think her name is Elise. She helped me twice before with uh, Bordeaux Blooms and the Dragonflies and Fox and the Foxes. And she hooked me up right nice. And so she was there. I lucked out. She was there. And uh, I said, uh, I'm looking at the dogs. And she went and she looked at the, got this from the back for me. Um, so I th she said they didn't get a lot in. They got like two Vera's. It, she made it seem like this was the only other Glenna. There was the one out on display. And then she went to the back and got this one. Um, so well, she said she was kind of surprised that this, you know, they didn't get a lot of stock. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's so limited or maybe they think people are buying more online. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. But um, anyway. Okay, so. So then, and this brings up something I do want to talk about uh, a little bit, which is if people are buying this, even if they're ordering it, look at it closely um, before you decide to keep it or before you buy something. Because, so when, when I saw this, this was the display one, and I said, do you have another one I want to compare? And she said, let me go see. I'm not sure we didn't get a lot of stock. And she went in the back and she pulled it. She brought it out. She said, it's the only other one I have. And I said, oh, okay. And I'm starting to look at it. I'm looking up here because this was where the catalog was. And I want to compare. And it was start. It was looking good. And then I'm looking at it. And this whole piece of fabric here, I wish I had taken a picture for my Instagram. This whole piece of fabric was upside down. I mean, just wow, really, Vera, with the quality control. So I said, I, I can't do that. That's upside down. She said, oh, I said that. You know, I can't. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what kind of discount. You have to, what kind of discount? You, there is no discount that would make that okay to me. Free would be okay. <laughs> anyway, so she took it. She put it, you know, on the uh, counter, I guess, to deal with it. So that started me thinking, okay, i got to look carefully. And there was a small Vera out for display. <clears throat> and this piece of fabric here, this small strip above the zipper on the pocket was upside down on that one. I didn't even bother to ask if they had another one because I do know the small bear is just too, I don't like the way it looks on me. Um, so anyway, so I'm looking at the turn lock, really like the turn lock. I know I want a turn lock in this because I have one in Cat's Meow. So I picked this one because even though the Great Dane is cut off, his head with the chihuahua is not. And I thought that was nice. You still get a nice sense of the dog there. Um, and you get the dog with the leash in its mouth. Um, and it didn't seem like anything was too awkward. There are some decapitations, but what are you gonna do? Um, this is the other side. You know, upside down, because it wraps. There's no seam here that wraps. Then when I got home, I realized this piece of fabric is upside down on the tab, flap, whatever. And so I pull out my cat's meow and say, is that right? You know, maybe that just happens, you know. No, it's right side up on the cat's meow. So that's a mistake. And when I flip it open, it, the, the dachshund is kind of cute. So uh, I'll see what I get from my order about pattern placement. But uh, sort of the principle of it is making me feel like this should go back. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. But that's why I just wanted to mention to people, look at the stuff carefully. Don't look quick. You gotta slow down and, and look. And I did not slow down enough. <laughs> Even after I, I realized it was happening, that kind of thing was happening. 
So then I, you know, I always want a little, little something, a little something, something. I always want the zip ID. And I saw this with a cattle dog and the beagle, you know, so uh, that was kind of a no-brainer. And a good bit of the lining in there with the, um, one of the squirrels holding a tennis ball. So that's cute. Um, but then this I knew I wanted, and I, this... I didn't, I don't think I bothered to order this because I knew I was going to want to pick out pattern placement. You know, this is such a crapshoot. It's so easy to just got, not get anything worth anything on, on a small item like this. So I didn't even bother. I figured I'll go to Hallmark or somewhere and look. But this I, I knew I could order. This one has an embroidered, the embroidered dog, uh, the embroidered version of the dog with the leash. And so when I looked at the photo online I thought oh well it's probably all the same that this item is probably all the same because it's embroidered but in the store I realized it's not so I just thought I would mention that to people because they had a couple of these in the store and uh, this is the back this is the lining fabric used for this zip ID and so the if you get a different portion of the fabric you might not get a squirrel there were definitely embroidered zip IDs that had only tennis balls on the front. So I didn't realize that. So I'm kind of glad. So I, I, instead of waiting, I had one on order and I wasn't going to buy this. But when I realized they're all different, I thought, okay, I'll get this one and see, I, I may return the one that is on order. This just has a, a plain lot nylon lining inside, no pattern. Um, but it's got a little squirrel there. And it's got, oh, no, it's not. It's right. The lining is okay. I was going to say the lining looks upside down, but I see that the, the VB logo is, is both right side up and upside down in here. And this has a nice feel to it, this nylon in here. It almost has a heavier weight to it, almost like a, a real satiny kind of feel, so it's nice. I do have um, some a lanyard, thicker, wider lanyard on order because uh, I do like the wide lanyard. But I saw this. Okay, you have got to stop. You really have to stop. This whole bed is wet now from you and your obsessive foot licking. Oh my god. Can't wait for this season to be over so she stops licking her feet. Well, I saw this lanyard with the puppy in the teacup on that strip of fabric and the face of the standard poodle there and a little bit of that other dog face. But when I, I saw that, I thought, what well, God, what are the odds? I mean, to get that just that right strip of fabric with that, you know, dog in the teacup you know so so it's such as it's so readable you know it's really uh, you can see recognize it right away it's not cut off in a bad way um i guess I'm trying to look at the other side i feel like the other side is kind of uh. you see <laughs> that's a that's a technical design term uh See, the inside, the other side, there's really nothing going on, right? It's all just random bits of the design that don't really mean anything. So I feel like I lucked out there. And, you know, uh, because I, I had to buy this on, on, I think it was Poshmark, I can't remember. And this was a good price. And the woman who was, I assume it was a woman, the woman who was selling this was not, she didn't jack up the price too terribly much. Um, and so I appreciated that very much. And a uh, very nice seller. I never remember. Someone asked me, can I say the seller's names that I buy from? But I don't remember. And people are using these weird handles, you know, they have their weird handles on social media. So um, everyone's very anonymous. And so I, I don't remember. <laughs> but um, I did have to buy this, you know, after the fact. And so I didn't want that to, again, I didn't want that to happen to me. And so I did get this. I do have one on order, so I'll compare and return one because I, I don't need both. Um, again, you can see the color difference. But these are becoming handy for masks and, and other, I don't use them necessarily for toiletries, I'm sort of using them to contain other things, organized as organizational pouches or other things. Please, peaches, you're driving me crazy. This whole bed is wet now. I love my dogs. I really do. I love them. <laughs> they are my world. So here we go again. The, the cattle dog. The 
collie. That's a good look at the collie right there. This little dog wearing sunglasses. Almost like goggles. <laughs> but there's the howling dog, the beagle, howling beagle under the uh, cattle dog. The frisbee. And the back, well, this is technically the back, I guess. Uh, you know, if this has a label, I don't know. Anyway, it's a very similar piece of the fabric. Uh, not a lot of variety here, but something happened to me with a cattle dog. I became very fixated, fixated on the cattle dog, and then I had to sort of force myself to sort of say, well, wait a minute, maybe you want some variety. You know, all your stuff is going to look exactly the same. <laughs> Everything's just going to have the cattle dog. <laughs> but uh, this was the only one they had out, and I didn't feel she... I didn't want to be too much of a pain in the ass with this the sales associate because she was very nice and I was the only one in there so that was nice. I, I, no one, I didn't have to deal with crowds or anything. Um, and then a, a young woman came in with a service dog. Beautiful. I'm always so in awe of service dogs and how calm they are and how they keep their focus. Um, and she thought that was kind of appropriate. The, the dogs were there, and, and this woman came in. The dog pattern was there, and this woman came in with her, her service dog. So that was kind of neat. Anyway, so that was it. So this is part one, my haul part one, my best in show haul part one. <laughs> Sorry for all the blabbering. And uh, I'm sure shortly, if my work allows, I can come up for air again in a couple of days and hopefully have some some more best in show hauls <laughs> to show. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.